Hey, after last episode, I reviewed some recent comments. Most contain war crimes. Good job. So let's see what we can do. This, right now, is a horrible idea. You guys want to see an SCCO. Not a normal one, as if I could anyways. No, you guys wanted the smallest one. Possibly Kerbal Power, with them acting as a heat shield and landing gear as well. Honestly, I had to go get a degree in aeronautics to design this crazy thing. But I didn't. I did the second best thing. Try till it would. This however, this is a horrible thing. Due to budget constraints and Kerbals being cheaper than aluminum, we made it an open cockpit design. Safe zone and check seats as well. I mean, if it worked 70 years ago, why wouldn't it now? I made sure to start off with the smallest possible engine so that we knew for sure we couldn't save more on that. Turns out a glorified Dyson vacuum isn't enough for a fly. Adding two small rockets boots progress. Not sure why the other one's still there because it does absolutely nothing. But alright, don't mind the landing, I'm not so worried about that. So what if I do a vertical launch? But first, goddamn, 5 days, it's been 5 days since I uploaded a video. So guys, I've been busy lately and for the coming days, so thanks for staying along. Anyways, in the next few days, I've got more time for better and longer videos. Anyways, moving on, vertical launch should go better, right? I've spent a lot of time and dedication to this sophisticated rocket, SSTO design. Speaking of SSTO, you might have noticed the decoupler. Don't, just don't. It's not there, and even if it was, well, no one specified an SSDO has to work on the Kerbin. I'm sure this one does on the moon. If it could go there. Well, we can't reach orbit. Well, no worries, we could just fly back to the base, right? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So, new propulsion? No bueno. Round two? No. Alright, we've got takeoff! We'll be arriving at our destination in three to five business days. Alright, so what about horizontal launch, then switch to vertical? Seems to be working. Maybe a little, I don't know. Alright, design change. I took two of these super efficient turbofan engines and four small rocket thrusters. The idea is the turbofans get us as high as we can and then we switch to the rocket engines. Genius, right? So here we switch. And back to the drop. Four engines are to do it. This one is taking too long. Let's speed it up and... Oh, never mind. Okay, now. We got the big boy out of its shed. The most inefficient thing I have put on God's green earth. This boy be packing so much thrust it can break the sound barrier on liftoff. This boy be packing so much thrust that even a BMW can't tailgate it. This boy be packing so much thrust. Okay, you get the point. So we just positioned the craft for a victim to get in the seat of the small thing. And we can disconnect. And I forgot to turn off the fuel cross feed. Okay, round two. God damn, the thing is re entering, so it's going too fast. Round 3 WHY?! Round 4 I mean, at least give me some points for the thing looking wacky as fuck. Before we move on to the next engineering nightmare, be sure to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you guys want a Discord server to share your ideas with each other. And with KSP2 coming up, which is multiplayer, now might be the time to assemble your team and start brainstorming so you guys are ready for the next big challenge. And of course you guys can discuss other games and play together in the server as well, so let me know if you guys want it and I'll see what I can do. So now we've come to this thing. Don't ask me what's wrong with me. I decided to scale up the craft a little to see if that may get me there. And any competent KSP engineer would have told me that it would be easy. However, I'm me, and me can't. So, we just test anything at the cost of a few Kerbals. No biggie. So yeah, I went with the two turbines, one rocket, engine design. Did it work out? No. Did I keep trying? Absolutely. The turbines weren't creating enough thrust. Either that, or the main landing gate was keeping me from pitching up. No worries though, I just used the rocket engine to give a small boost. Turns out, we had other issues. So be sure to subscribe and see what will happen next.